Hey everybody, today I'm going to be talking about my new subwoofer to go along with my Kali IN8 studio monitors. Let me introduce you to this bad boy, which is the Kali WS 6.2 subwoofer. This is a really nice subwoofer from everything I've heard. However, I actually haven't heard it yet. I really wanted to give you my impression of it uh, as I go through. You saw the unboxing video there of me taking it out. And let me tell you, this thing is quite hefty. It weighs in at about 25 pounds, and so it's going to be uh, quite a substantial speaker. One of the cool things about it, and this is something I read extensively, was the fact that it actually has two speaker cones, one on the left and one on the right. And those speaker cones actually function to eliminate vibration so that the speaker cab itself is not bumming around on the floor. As you might imagine, a subwoofer could make a lot of mechanical uh, rattling noises if it didn't have some kind of dampening. And by having the uh, cancellation of the two speakers moving opposite of each other, that means when the speaker is in operation, the cabinet itself is not moving, which I think is going to be a real plus. Again, I'll be honest with you, I really have never used a subwoofer extensively in my monitoring setup, so this is kind of new for me. I've really been doing a lot more mixing and mastering lately, so I felt like I really wanted to step up my game a little bit, and I've always kind of wondered how much information was getting left behind at that lowest frequencies. I always use 8-inch monitors um, so I can get as much bass response as possible, but I really was very curious about what was going to happen with this. And after my success and how much I really enjoyed working with the IN8s, I figured pairing it with their own subwoofer would be a no-brainer, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be a, a great sounding unit. On the back of the speakers, we have all of the connections that you'll need uh, for doing audio. You have the inputs, which are combo jacks, as well as the RCA jacks. And then you have some XLR outs, and the XLR outs go to your main speakers. Now, for those of you who haven't used a subwoofer in your system before, typically speaking, most subwoofers come with a built-in crossover, which sends the low frequencies to the subwoofer and the higher frequencies to the regular speakers. And so that means you need to go from your audio interface into the subwoofer and from the subwoofer out to your speakers. Now this subwoofer has three settings on it for inputting. It has an 80 frequency built-in crossover, which is pretty standard for a subwoofer. Then it has a setting in the middle there. That setting is specifically for using it with a surround sound setup. Now I don't mix in surround sound, so I'll be using that, um, but it's important to know what that setting is for, because if you had a multi-speaker setup going, you need to make sure you have it set for that so that you don't mess up your mix. And then finally, there is an external crossover setting. I know some people who've uh, reviewed this speaker have wished there was a variable uh, crossover for it, but I think that's something that might be uh, a little much for most of us, because for most of us, I sort of trust where the speaker knows it wants to take in the audio, because it probably is going to sound best when it takes in the, the frequencies it's looking for, rather than me arbitrarily choosing them. There's also a volume knob there, so you can adjust the overall volume. But right now I have my Callies set to dead noon, aka 50%, so I'm expecting the subwoofer probably to be set at the same setting. So now that we've talked about it, let's get this thing set up on my studio setup and let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so I have the Cali WS 6.2 subwoofer set up on my system, and now we're gonna take a listen. I didn't mention it earlier, but the uh, subwoofer actually has a foot switch feature where that means if you wanna hear your mix without the subwoofer, you can simply step on a foot switch, which will disengage the subwoofer and give you a, an idea of what it sounds like with just the monitors. That's kind of a nice touch if you're really concerned about uh, how much bleed you're getting and how much the subwoofer is really influencing things. Things. I have listened a little bit, but I want to give you all a sample. So when I hold up one finger, that means I have the subwoofer engaged and you're hearing the video with the subwoofer. And when I put my hand down, that means I've let it go. It might not come through really well on the video, but we'll see how it is. I'll give you my impression in the room after it's done playing.
Well, there you go with a little sample of the Kali IN8 studio monitors with the addition of the Kali WS 6.2 subwoofer. I'll be honest with you, um, it added a whole lot to the sound. Um, for better or for worse, I haven't quite made up my mind yet, but I really think that it exposed something that probably was there the whole time that I was unaware of, which is I had too much bass frequency, as always. I would say now that I'm kind of getting used to these monitors and the response, I think this is really going to be a, another helpful tool to just kind of showcase what's going on down there. One of the things I find really interesting is the kick drum and the bass really have a presence that they just don't have without the subwoofer engaged. And it really shows me where that sound is. I li listened to a few reference tracks. And those really gave me an idea of, oh, hey, I thought the, maybe the bass was a little quiet in these, but listening to it on the sub, I can really tell that it's there. And I think it gives me an idea of what maybe some other engineers are thinking of when they're mixing bass. I like to have a present bass, but I don't want it to overwhelm. And I think the interesting thing is you really hear some of those frequencies that just kind of bloom and you won't ever know that without the subwoofer. In terms of the quality of the speaker, I think it's fantastic. The foot switch is amazing and it's really easy to use and what a nice feature. It's also nice because it's a complete system of Kali Audio. It was pretty easy to just turn everything up to straight up and be pretty sure that it was going to be balanced, which I really feel like it is. The only thing I noticed in the room about the subwoofer addition that was annoying was one of my can lights above my head there started rattling because it was loose. And once I screwed it in place, I no longer had that problem. I'll be interested to see with the people upstairs if they uh, complain about the noise um, or if they're getting unnecessarily rattling in the walls, but I don't really have it up terribly loud. So I would assume it's gonna be just fine. Again, I really think it's a great addition. I think it's a great product. Uh, the price point is just amazing. So if you're interested, please feel free to go and check out Cali's website. Uh, they've been great to me so far, and I've really appreciated um, how connected they've been, reaching out, answering questions. I'm a really big fan of the products, and I'm looking forward to adding some of these to my office studio at the college where I teach. So again, my name is David Larson. I hope you'll check out some of my new releases. I've got a... a an album that drops here on Friday, October 4th, uh, featuring Delbert Anderson, great trumpet player. So I hope you'll find that on any of your streaming services, including YouTube Music, and I'll catch you the next time.